Have you ever come across such a situation that there was a problem and you could not put a name to it, a label to it? Well, there is one such problem in Excel which I call as hanging formulas. And let's see if you too have faced this problem. And if yes, then what is the solution? Sometimes when you intend to write a formula, let's say you begin by writing count A and you have chosen the cells and you close the parenthesis to press enter. Now it just hangs in there. Now, if it does so, the immediate thing that I check is I go to formulas and I check whether the button show formula is open or not. Now, why is this used? When you have a formula, let's say two plus two, and you activate show formulas, it shows you all the formulas and you can turn it back off. Now, that's not the case right now. The challenge is these cells in which we have written the formula were pre-formatted as text. Now, simply changing this to general won't help you. I've seen people after doing this, they go to the cell, double click, enter, they double click and enter. And it's a manual exercise. So what I propose is that if the problem exists where the format is text and changing this to general is not helping you, then there are two steps that you need to take. First, you choose the entire group of data, preferably in a single column. Then you go to data tab and apply text to columns and click on finish. Now wait, Rishabh, you generally share the logics as well. So what's the logic behind this finish of text to column? Let me go back one step. I go to text to columns and in the step three of three, which I did not show you, there's a statement which says this screen lets you select each column and set the data format to general. Now when you do that, it's clear that the answer is appearing. However, remember the cells format is still a text. So when I double click to check the formula and I press enter, it gives me the same problem. So it's a two step process. I repeat, it's a two step process where you will have to first take the help of text to column and then you'll have to ensure that the format is general. Now you will not face the problem in those areas ever again. Well, if you watched the video till now, let me know in comment below that did you face this challenge? And if yes, please do comment and let me know your views because your comments will drive YouTube's algorithm to let other users of the channel know that this is something you should also learn. So I'll see you in the next video.